Yeah, there's 10 guys on the ice, right, and one puck. So you're you're going to have the puck 10% of the time, really. So you got to be able to affect the game the other 90% of the time. Um, this league, you can't just wait to get it back. You have to do something. You have to move your feet. You have to close gaps. You have to anticipate plays. Um, and he has all that. He's got a very cerebral player, right, very smart player. So he's got all that. Now it's just being uh, being confident enough to do it all the time. Just, from your Sorry. just last one from your personal standpoint, to get your first goal as a Leaf must have felt pretty cool last night. Yeah, uh, first time I've ever scored wearing a, a different jersey than a Capitals jersey. So, um, you know, for me, it's, it, it's been a bit of a tough year, tough stretch offensively. Um, was getting some assists, but you always want to score. And uh, I think you saw my smile after that goal. It's just a nice relief. And um, just talking to Burns, I was telling him I was going to light him up in practice today because I'm hot now. <laughs> uh, but hopefully, uh, he can relax a little more around the net, you know, and not just keep searching for that goal, but relax, just play the game and find some more. Looks like Lindbergh uh, also made a pretty nice feed on that play. Yeah, great play. Um, first off, getting up on the forecheck. Secondly, protecting the puck. He's a big guy. He's got a big, big booty on him. So to be able to protect the puck and roll off a check, roll behind the net, have the vision to uh, the patience and the vision to make the play, uh, especially in your first game. I think his mom and dad were there. Yeah, and some family. Yeah, family quite a bit. Um, so that's pretty neat for him for a special moment. I know you've had some time to settle into the room now. Do you feel like veterans, in some ways, are extensions of the coaching staff and expectations, and do you embrace that role? Yeah, yeah. Um, first off, you got to understand what the coaching staff wants. What what kind of identity are we trying to build here? What's our foundation going to be? And then, um, and then as a leader, if you want to be a leader, you can never ask somebody to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. So if, if this is the way we're going to play, you have to do it yourself so that other guys see it, and then you can talk to other guys about doing it. So um, like I said, but the important thing for me to, was to come in and play really well, and, able to, and that would enable me to have a voice in the locker room. Uh, hopefully I've done that. Um, he's trusted me, coaching staff has trusted me with a few things uh, quietly, and um, trying to do my best to, to help them out and help our team grow and make us better. Is that where you think some of Mike's credibility comes into? Like you see him working out like a maniac, running around the building? After yeah. practices, he, he kind of does, he demands a lot of his, himself in addition to you guys. Yeah, um, I don't know if I've ever seen a head coach with that much energy. I mean, <laughs> he, he's incredible, he really is. I mean, it, it's really a treat to be on the bench with, with the way he runs it. I've never seen anything like that. Um, so as a student of the game, you love to learn from somebody like that. Somebody that, um, I think just for him, the, the passion of the game, right? Just a, an incredible passion for the game and a passion for winning. Um, hates to lose and loves to win. Um, it's really neat to learn from him. Um, something as a player that you really, you really learn from, um, from a coach. I know too, with, with the amount of youngsters you've probably seen in short order in this team, it must give you as a guy that's not all that familiar with the organization a lot of hope for next year. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I kind of have to watch what I say a little bit because, I, you know, I've learned that headlines can run wild in this city. <laughs> <a bit. laughs> but uh, in confidential conversations with uh, with people that matter to me, people in my life that I, I trust their hockey opinion, have talked about our team, and I see very good things in our team, um, very good things. I've been through a process like this before, um, but I think we're... Uh, we're building something very special. You want to build an identity and a foundation. And by doing that, you, you create habits so that you play the same way all the time, and then the game becomes easy. So um, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort, extra effort, um, attention to detail. But I really believe that we have a strong hockey club.